Hello everyone, welcome back to Tears Day here on All Things Futhark. I'm your host, Eric. This week we are talking about Kano. Uh, Kano or Kanaz, um, those are the only two names I've heard that I can recall right offhand. But it is this rune right here. I'll show it to you guys. Hopefully you guys can kind of see it and there's not too much glare there. Anyway, uh, Kano is the rune of, well, it's, it is fire, it is a torch, it is a lighthouse, a guiding light, it's the hearth fire, it is represented by the torch, or a fire in a hearth, or something of that nature. Um, I've, I've heard of lots and lots and lots of things that have to do with that. The way I usually view Kano and that's what I call it is Kano, not Kanaz or Ken or whatever some of the other names are. But uh, Kano, in my experience with rune readings and divination, has always been an inspiration or a guiding light. Now, I realize that there are other runes in the Futhark that deal with inspiration specifically, especially Ansu's and things of that nature. Uh, Degas is also one of them. We'll get to those. Well, we've already done on Susan. We'll get to Degas later. Uh, much, much later. At any rate, um, Kano is a light in the darkness. It is something to be led by or guided to. In, in a reading, this is what it often talks about, is the, the... The light at the end of the tunnel, a little bit of a glimpse into into your future and your happiness, also very much deals with having a place that you feel safe. When Kano comes up in a reading and feels or is in a negative type position, Kano often talks about having no goal or also having no safe place to retreat to. Uh, Kano as the hearth fire is that warmth and comfort of being in a place where you consider home. Doesn't necessarily have to mean your house. Some people are very uncomfortable and feel very um, put out at their own home. And as sad as that is, sometimes that's the case. Kano would not represent your home. It would represent the place that you feel most comfortable and most safe. So if that's work, that's work and wherever or whomever that is, that's what Kano represents in that place. If it's, like I said, in a negative place, it usually means a lack thereof, a lack of someone to turn to, or a lack of somewhere to retreat to if things are getting bad. One of the things that, depending... Kano is one of those things that uh, definitely depends on the runes surrounding it and its position. For example... And this video may run a little long because I like to use these examples. But, for example, if Kano is a place where it seems like a negative because it's surrounded by, say, Nathus and Isa and uh, we'll just go with something absolutely weird like Jeddah, okay? If Nathus and Isa and Jeddah are all surrounding Kano... You know where that place is because of Yeda. There is there is a way to bring it about and to reach said goal. But because of Nathus and the needs that are being not being met, you know, that, that, that would signify that since Nathus is directly next to Kano, that needs are not being met to attain that safe place or that comfortable place where you consider home. Uh, if Isa is the problem, there are things in your way and the plan has not been made because Isa is very much a time of planning and we'll get to that in its own time. But that's an example. If Isa is next to Kano, then the place that you considered to be your safe place and your warm, comfortable space has probably been, you know, put to rest, so to speak. It's, it's no longer available to you. That's what I would guess. And a lot of times that is what you're doing in a reading is you're guessing at how these runes together represent this person's situation. 
A lot of it is intuition, a lot of it is understanding how the runes work together. That's why we're doing this, these, these videos, and that's why we're trying to make it so that you guys can get a deeper taste of how the runes work. Uh, not just for the divination, but with, with uh, Val's uh, bind runes, how to use the runes with other runes to get the things that you're, you're hoping to get. Obviously, nothing can be forced unless you're the one doing the forcing. But um, that's, that, that's why we're doing these, is to hopefully help you guys out. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering where Harafin's videos and Lou's videos are. Um, Harafin has been having some issues and nothing that I'm willing to go into on the channel. But, uh, you know, send good energy his way. He could use it. And if and when he's up to making videos again, he'll probably start doing so. Lou feels that he's, um, with Harafin's videos and my videos covering divination and, and Val's divination, or Val's videos covering the bind runes, he feels that there's not a whole lot left to cover. Um, if you guys want a specific topic of discussion covered in usage of runes, feel free to reply to this or, uh, you know, video response is fine, uh, comments is fine, private message to the channel is absolutely fine as well, but uh, he's... Also, he's feeling like his videos have been kind of a moot point at the end of the week, so that's why he hasn't been posting videos. Can't say that I blame him, uh, especially with the last few videos that Harafin has posted. He does cover an awful lot, especially through uh, the usage of runes in, in magic and everyday use. So, if you want to see Lou back on the channel and you want to see him cover a specific uh, aspect of the runes then feel free to leave those suggestions in the comment section. Uh, at any rate, this is really all I've got on Kano for now. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the channel or the hosts or this video or Kano or anything else that we've covered thus far, feel, to re feel free to leave those questions, concerns, or comments in the comment section below. Make a video response if you like. Uh, we do like to see those. We like to, uh, we like to see you know, your faces and see what, you're, uh, what you think about it. At any rate, thanks everybody for watching, and of course, until next time, Odin be with you.